gnat that I use. Local exterminators say they're getting 15 to 25 calls a day for bats. And according to the State Department of Health, multiple bats have tested positive in Monroe County within the last few months. Well, the aerial population is really big right now. And in doing so, they're getting into homes, they're getting into new attics, um, they're uprooting the current adults that are living there, so they start trying to find a new place to live. Though a lot of people make an attempt to trap and release it, experts warn not to. Instead, stand still until they land, then slowly leave the room. Do not attempt to capture it yourself. The worst thing you could do is frantically run around and, and move real fast. That's when it messes up their echolocation and they can't figure out where you've been, and that's when you'll get bumped into by them. So obviously there's that chance of getting rabies, but there is a bigger concern you're saying. Yep, so the bigger concern other than the rabies is the histoplasmosis. That's what you get from the droppings. So as the bat droppings break down in the attic and they become airborne over time, that dust will circulate throughout your home. Breathing in that dust can lead to respiratory issues. That's why he says it's also imperative to get the attic cleaned out properly, so that way there's no exposure involved. Emily Noonan, News 8. All right, thank you, Emily. According to the State Department of Health, fewer than 5% of bats tested have rabies, but they're still the number one animal for people in the United States to contract the disease from. Well, speaking of wild.